Cartoon Recaps here. Today we will be recapping the movie called, New Gods, Nezha Reborn. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a boy called Lee Yunxiang. He is having a race against other street racers and eventually, he strategically jumps off a cliff, making him to win the race. He is congratulated by his goofy admirer called, Kasha. Lee Yunxiang lives in a city called, the Donghai City, where he works as a delivery boy. Lee begins to narrate to us how the city of Donghai looks like. He explains that the city is divided into two. One is where the rich people live without any hardships. While the other side of the city is where the poor people stays, who have no choice to beg from people, while some even steal just to put food on the table. The main problem on this side of the city is water. People hardly find water to drink and it's killing a lot of people. Li Yunxiang is really saddened about all these. But he believes things will change for the better very soon. Later that night, he sees the city water industry, and manages to break the sluice gate, so that the water will be distributed for poor citizens to drink. Lee and Kasha relationship is so strong to the extent that both of them really love and care for each other like siblings. He picks her from a clubhouse where she normally earn little money for herself. Lee suggests to Kasha that they should go see his father, who he hasn't seen in a while. On their way, they are apprehended by the third son of the dynasty called, Al Bing. He offers to buy Lee's bike at any amount but Lee rejected his offer and leaves. Soon enough, Lee arrives at his family's house, and is welcomed by his senior brother known as Lee Jing Siang. Lee and his dad has a little issue because his father is against those heroic activities he does for the citizens. And when Lee's father scolded him for stealing water for the citizens at dinner, he is so fed up with his father's behavior and leaves the house with Kasha. On the road, Al Bing who wanted to buy his bike earlier confronts him again for renegotiation. He tells Lee that this time, even if it means getting the bike by force, he won't really mind. Suddenly, Al Bing and his men started to chase after Lee. But Lee is able to use his bike skills, to cause accidents among the bikers chasing him including Al Bing. Al Bing couldn't take it anymore, and summons a presiding deity, inside of him, in a shape of an icy dragon. He uses it to capture Lee and his sister. As Al Bing is about to get away with his bike, Lee's anger unleashed fire flames out of him, which he doesn't know about, and uses it to attack Ao Bing. Ao Bing wants to fight back, but he's too weak due to the injury he got from the fire. Swiftly, he and his men makes their escape. The next morning, Li Yunxiang wakes up only to find himself in the hospital. He is feeling so weak and as soon as he remembers the incident that happened to him last night, he hurries to check on Kasha just to see her still unconscious. A friend of his, who is a doctor enters to inform him that Kasha won't be able to walk again, as one of her leg has been cut off from the accident. Li Yunxiang is really so upset for what Ao Bing and his men did, and wants to pay them back. Li's brother also shows up at the hospital to ensure he is alright. Suddenly, the De clan, which is led by Ao Bing's father arrives. He is called Ao Guang. Ao Guang apologizes for his son misdeeds, and offers him money for compensation. Li Yunxiang angrily rejected his offer believing that all those apologies and money won't bring back his sister's leg. Ao Guang later finds out that Li is truly a reincarnation of a very powerful demon called Nezha, due to the flames he pulled out on Ao Bing the other night. They believe Li doesn't know anything about who he really is, so to prevent any future threats, he orders Yaksa, his assistant to find some group of assassins to take him down before his powers grow stronger. On his way, Li's father, Li Jingxiang scolded him for rejecting Ao Guang offer. He believes the money alone would have turned their lives for the better. During the long argument, two assassins, one in a bike, and the other in a truck confronted them. It appears that those people wanted to kill them, so Li and his brother makes a run for it. The chase is getting really intense so they had no choice but to jump off a cliff, which resulted to them crashing. The assassin then apprehended them and as they revealed their identity, it turns out that they are demons. One of them is able to get hold of Li, and as the other one is about to execute him, Li unconsciously summons a huge flame of fire out of his body, and burnt one of the demon alive. Just as the other demon is about to attack him, he is killed by a strange man in mask. The masked man addresses Li as Nezha. But he notices that Li doesn't recall who he is, and tells him to come find him if he wants to know more about his past life. Due to the accident from the chase, Li's brother is badly injured and rushed to the hospital. His father later visited and tells Li to leave, due to he blames him for his brother's condition. On the other hand, Ao Bing pleaded to his father that he should be the one to go on the hunt for Li, since he was the one that started the fight. Ao Guang then shows him the wound he got from Neji years ago, and reveals to his son that Li isn't an easy opponent. That he is a powerful reincarnated demon from thousands of years ago called, 
Neja. He goes further explaining that Neja was the one that killed him in his past life and if he's not careful, he will do it again in this life. Lee later visited the masked man, who explains to him that he a powerful demon from years ago called, Neja. But he doesn't remember anything because in reincarnation, all memories is lost, and this includes a new life, a new name, a new family and friends. Later that night, Ao Guang visited the masked man, who he believes he is the only person that can take down Neja. The masked man doesn't seem to be interested but as the offers him more money, he puts it into consideration. Li at a point started to get strange memories of him as Neja suddenly, he uncontrollably sets his bike on fire but fortunately, the fire safety is able to pull out the fire in time. Li goes back to the masked man basement and begs him to help him control his powers and in exchange for that, he will make a motorcycle exactly like his own for him. The masked who who really wanted his kind of bike, agrees to help him without hesitation. His training then finally started. Li often goes to visit his senior brother at the hospital and also often checks on Kasha, who is now crippled. He manages to make an artificial leg so it can help her on her feet. Li is able to make an armor as well to help him control his fire. And in due time, Li already knows how to fight. And the masked man successfully teaches him how to control his fire. Now to put his skills into test, the masked man tells Li to try and attack him. No matter how skillful Li was, he's still no match for the masked man, who defended his blows as if it was nothing. During the training his mask fell off from his face, and he later reveals himself to be the legendary Monkey King. Ao Bing wants to disobey his father and have his revenge on Neja. But Yaksa tells him not to worry. That he will kill Neja on his behalf. After Li's training, his friend Junsu who is the doctor watching over Li's brother, arrives to inform Li that his brother is now at the state of recovery. Which was a great news for Li to hear. Suddenly the De clan appears and started to attack Li and his friends. Yaksa is the only leading them. He changes to his demonic form, and attacks Li will full force. In the process of killing him, Li unconsciously summons the Neja deity, and uses it to subdue Yaksa. Who makes his escape thereafter. Ao Bing pays a gang star called Lying to find a way to kill Li. Later on, Lying goes to the hospital to put a kind of substance in Li's amour. Li's sick brother sees the act, and tries to stop him and as Lying is about to kill him, he sees Kasha who is watching him in his evil act, and chases after her. On the chase, the acid bubbles are being thrown at the hospital, making the poor Kasha unconscious. It turns out that it is the De Clan, throwing the acid bombs at the hospital, to kill Li. The angry Li immediately pounces on the De Clan, and manages to destroy the weapon the De Clan are using to shoot those acid bombs at the hospital. Suddenly, another demon called, Rosie Cloud started to attack him, as he unleashes his powers on her, it kills her instantly. Li hurries back to the hospital to check on his brother and Kasha's safety. In the search, he sees his dad really injured and is at the brink of death. His father apologizes to him for been a bit too harsh at him and died. Leaving Li at the most devastating moment of his life. Ao Guang invites the Monkey King into his house, to know about his progress on killing Neja. Here the Monkey King finds out that the reason for water scarcity in the city is because of them. Ao Guang realizes that instead of the Monkey King to kill Neja as he proposed, he trained him instead. Immediately, he captures the Monkey King and as he is about to hurt him, Neja enters with hunger for revenge. Ao Guang believes that if he doesn't have the Dragon Pearl, then they are no match for Neja. So he decides to retreat, but Ao Bing doesn't want to tag along but instead, he prefers to face Neja to the death. Ao Bing summons his deity, so is Neja. They both then get into a one-on-one -on -one combat. Fire vs Ice After a never-ending fight, Ao Bing transforms himself into a dragon and attacks Neja, giving him a very severe injury. Out of anger, Neja angrily uses all the powers in him, and finally, he kills Ao Bing. He returns back to the hospital saddened, especially when he sees his sick brother weeping for their father's death. Lying tries to put the blame on Li but suddenly, Kasha enters and reveals that it was Lying who was behind all this. As everyone is about to act against Lying, he immediately grabs Kasha as hostage, threatening that if anyone should come any closer, he will kill her. But fortunately, Kasha pushes him down the building and he died. Later on, Neja confronts Ao Guang, as the both enemies started to find themselves. At first, Ao Guang defeated him so many times in a fight, making the battle between them much for fiercer. Until Neja unleashes all the powers inside of him, which burnt Ao Guang to death. Due to the fight between them, the water supply in Ao Guang possession was destroyed. And he also releases the water dragon and is heading to the city. Soon enough, Neja uses his rope to hold off the water demon controlling the water to the city. And finally, save the city from drowning. 
the one dream Neja had always dreamt of finally came to pass, as the people in the city didn't suffer and run out of water again. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.